This video is sponsored by Helsinki Metal Festival 2023. Hello everybody out there, this is Kai. And Michael. And we are booked for the uh, Helsinki Metal Fest as headliners the on 11th, the... The 11th of August. 11th. After all the cancellations and stuff, we're happy to finally come to your country. Yeah. Come See you there us. then. Yeah. Welcome to Rodas Black Metal Reviews. This time we go to Italy with a new project called Disapnea. This one is their debut album called Overdose Depression. And this one is labeled as some kind of a depressive suicidal black metal, which you might not figure out if you were listening to the album, but we'll get there in a bit. Now, when it comes to the visual side of band, I mean, it's all there. Anti-human, anti-life, pro-death. And then you have something which a lot of people associate with cutting yourself, harming yourself, killing yourself, or just, I don't know, shaving a beard. And on the background, we have the track listing and some cannibal corpsistic art. Now, some might say, no, no, it's black metal art, but I'm thinking old school death metal here. Tells a lot about my past, I guess. And then we have the CD, which is technically speaking a CDR. You can see these reflections here, the color changes and all that stuff. Always going a little bit on the greener side than your factor, manufactured CDs. And here is once again the cover. Quite nasty, quite artistic and maybe in some respects also fitting. And you can even see the news here on the logo. So this is very, very much indicating, yeah, yeah, yeah. Suicide or hang, death by hanging is definitely a some kind of a solution. I think a lot of Western movie themes would have, uh, agree with that topic. Now, jokes aside, here we have the inlay of the uh, booklet, which might not be really readable on the camera here. You have the lineup photos like, okay, I'm cutting this way. Now, there's the trick. Um, in case you're one of these guys, uh, it goes down the road not across the street. Remember that, kids. I totally suggest against any kind of self-harming and suicide attempts and all that stuff, but in case you want to play with your own life, that it is. And here we have, once again, the news. So this is how it looks like. This is how it is. Disapnea with the self-financed uh, debut album. And... Um, this is how it looks on the Metal Archive site. Suicide, insanity, negativity, mention of themes. Very, very dark. And depression. Black Metal seems to be the name of the game with overdose depression. Like I said before, I was showing you the thing here. Um, if I was to um, uh, decide the genre based on what I was listening to, not take a look at the themes here, song titles, whatever, visual, sayus, visual cues, I would say this is some kind of pagan black metal. Don't get me wrong, this is kind of on the darker side of things, but it's not exactly, you know, like the shining level of stuff. I'm talking about the early stuff. Or bands like Abyssic Hate, or those other very, very dark, sinister, depressive style stuff of, well, what you know as depressive suicidal black metal. This is more like mid-tempo black metal, somewhat grim, but far from being extreme sides of black metal. I mean, this isn't exactly super slow, the kind of a doomy stuff. This most certainly isn't the fast or aggressive ones. This isn't super crude when it comes to raw and primitive black metal, but actually quite in the middle. Now, for those who are looking for extreme um, ways in extreme black metal, well, this is not your cup of tea. This is more like the kind of a basic standard black metal in so many ways. Now, it lacks definitely the more satanic or, you know, uh, more esoteric approaches to black metal but when it comes to music or whatever i mean it doesn't really go to the extreme it's more like uh nicely flowing black metal certainly grim certainly dark and all that stuff but you know like okay what's the really the thing here what's the lou rhythm factor and i'm saying there is really not much of that in my opinion, it kind of seems like the band is like 
figuring out what they want to do, but they are unable to find, with this album that is, the right way to execute it. So I'm saying like maybe a demo or two in question before actually bringing on on an album would have made more sense. Don't get me wrong, this is pretty goddamn listenable. And there are some parts where you feel really feel like, okay, these guys are nailing it. But for every good riffs, there's a couple of, you know, lukewarm parts, or at least one of them. So it's more like on the side of decent things, but not exactly like, wow, great, good. So definitely going to the right direction, but failing to execute it in a way that I'm like, okay, I want to kill myself. This is so goddamn de depressive and dark and sinister and, you know, all that stuff. Now it's more like, yeah. I'll open a beer and have a couple of ones and then all my worries go away. I mean, this is the kind of a black metal that you could really um, see as an opening act to some evening and you don't really feel super dark or depressive unless you consider being a little bit disappointed on the themes being depressive, but that's another thing. So all I'm saying is this band has a lot of potential, but I guess this one is for a reason an independent or self-financed release, because this is very much on a demo level still. Lots of potential, but fails in execution. That's the final verdict, and as such, I wouldn't call it exactly good, but more like on the decent side of things. Better than pure mediocrity, but not exactly something that is maybe worth your money blindly buying it. But give it a go. You will find links provided in the description box as always. And if you like to review, click like and subscribe to the channel. That's a commandment, by the way. Don't get depressive. All right, back to you. Bye-bye.